Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Alexa. Today's video is going to be an awkward one, um, at least for me. I feel very awkward filming this right now. Um, I've gone back and forth on if I wanted to film this or not just because I know it is a very sensitive topic and I do want this channel to be a positive space and a source of entertainment for people, especially during this time. But at the same time, it feels very weird and I just feel, it feels very wrong for me to keep posting happy videos as if everything is okay without fully addressing the reality right now. A huge part of why I had started this channel is to document my pregnancy and whether I like it or not, this pandemic has been a huge part of this journey. A lot of people are asking me how I am and honestly, I have just been feeling very guilty talking about or saying how I really feel because people are literally fighting for their lives right now and it just seems so silly to be sad about not being able to experience this journey with my family and friends and not having a baby shower or not having or not being able to have visitors post delivery basically not being able to celebrate our baby the way that we would like to it's silly i know because i am very blessed to be able to stay at home and stay healthy and be able to keep my job and i am very grateful for that and i acknowledge that privilege but i also would be lying if i said that I haven't been affected by this at all because who isn't affected by this? I know I think that each and every one of us in this world has been affected by this or is being affected by this just in varying degrees. So I can't say that I'm totally fine. I'm human and I have emotions, maybe even more emotions now that I'm pregnant. This is my first pregnancy and I just can't ever get these moments back. Everybody's telling me that the baby should be fine and she should be able to survive this if she does end up getting it. And I know that the people that are telling me this are coming from a good place and they're just trying to calm me down and I really appreciate that. But at the same time, it's not that easy. I wouldn't want my baby to be sick even if she can survive it or not, you know? And my husband has really bad asthma, so I have been constantly worried about him too. So I just feel like this whole time I'm just constantly stressing about the unknown. It's just a very unprecedented time and there's just so much uncertainty and I think that's what's really hard is I just don't know. Feeling very hopeful that this will be over when I'm due. I'm due in June, but I just don't know. What kind of world am I bringing this child into? What is the world going to be like after this? It's just all of these thoughts that are just filling my brain with anxiety. And as of right now, my husband can still be with me during labor and delivery, and I think hospitals are fighting for that. But that could change and just the thought of that changing it it's hard not to worry about that because i would really love dave to be there for me i feel like i do need him you know i have dreamed of this pregnancy for so long and it's just really changing and you know again i can't say that it's not making me sad because it is my whole side of the family is in the Philippines right now and the plan was for them to come here and see the baby once she's here and I'm really hoping that they can still do that because it just breaks my heart thinking that my mom has, hasn't ever seen me pregnant in person and the thought of her also not seeing the baby when she's born, I think that's the hardest part. I really don't want to cry. But this journey, but th this was something that we were supposed to experience together, you know, and I just really want her to be here and I really hope that she can be here <sighs> because I just, 
you know, she's my mom, and I don't know. It's just, uh, it, I just really wish that this is something that we can experience together. I'm just grieving. I'm grieving the lost experiences and plans and time that could be spent celebrating this with my family and friends and I I don't know if you guys think these feelings are valid or not I would like to think that it is I have spoken to other pregnant women too that feel the same way and I think it's really important that we just support each other right now again everybody is dealing with this in one way or another and it's just really important for us to be there for each other and I'm really staying positive. I really am every single day. We all have our own ways of coping and I know that some people can be offended with some people's way of coping like, I don't know, posting your food on Instagram or Facebook. And if that's how you feel, that's fine. I understand where you're coming from, but for me personally, if that's your way of coping, if, if it's crafting or cooking or baking, it's fine, you know, like, do that for your mental health. If you think that, you know, that really helps you cope during this time, I think it's really important to take care of your mental health, um, especially being locked up in your house and all of the news um, it, it, that can easily get to you, you know, and I think self-care is really important right now. I'm not saying to be insensitive about what's happening or ignorant about what's happening right now, but just take care of yourself. For me personally, I just try to celebrate my baby the best way that I can during these times by designing her nursery or buying her things or starting a YouTube channel. I am very, very grateful that we're having a precious baby soon and I can't wait to hold her. And really, the most important thing is that she's healthy and my husband is healthy and it, this has definitely been a very eye-opening experience, I think, for a lot of us. All of a sudden, all of the important things just don't seem that important anymore. And, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I'm just babbling at this point, so I think I'm going to try to wrap up this video. But if you've made it this far, thank you so much for listening. I hope everybody is staying safe and healthy. Again, thank you so much for listening. Um, I'm going to end this video now, but I will see you next time. Bye.